is my new baby. Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another plant video today. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that I was recently in Seattle. We actually just got back last night. Um, and while I was there, I made the maybe not so wise decision to uh, pick up some houseplants. <laughs> I had a heck of a time at the border, but after two to three hours, I eventually did make it through with all of my houseplant babies intact. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna make a story time video slash advice for taking plants over the Canada-US border. Um, if you don't know, I do live in Canada, so yeah, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump into a quick plant haul. I got nine plants while I was there from three different plant shops um so yeah let's just jump into it okay so the thing about canada versus canada i said that really weird the thing about canada versus the u.s is we have similar types of houseplants but the like specific varieties are really different so the first one i picked up was from a really cool plant store called i believe it's just called the plant store um in seattle and the guy there who i think is the owner was super nice and helpful um so the first plant that i picked up there is this silver satin pothos or skindapsis but this is which i already have and i love it's one of my favorite plants but this is a variety with more of the silver so I believe this is the Silvery Anne variety. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is what the leaves look like, if it will focus. Yeah, so it's got a lot more silver than the one that I have. The leaves are quite big. Um, yeah, I love this plant so much. I really love my other ones. So I figured I just want, you know, all the varieties. <laughs> so here we are, I picked that guy up and this was $10. Obviously all the prices are in US dollars. And then the next one that I spotted there is a philodendron imperial red and I am such a sucker for these philodendrons with like the darker kind of like orangey red leaves. I really want a philodendron prince of orange but I spotted this guy so I figured I would pick it up as well and this one was $14. Oop, something's falling out of the pot. I think it's just a rock or something. And then the last plant that we got there is actually one that Shane got because he has really been wanting a cast iron plant and we can only find really big expensive ones here. So we found this one, which is probably in like, I don't know, a six inch pot, a really tall pot actually. But I'm not quite sure what this variety is called, but it has the speckled leaves. So we thought that that was really cool and we haven't seen that around here. So we grabbed that. It is a really cool plant and these are really hardy as far as I know, so... Yeah, good find. And this was, how much did this cost? Oh, $30. Wow. So those are the three that we picked up from the plant store. And we also picked up some sphagnum moss and cork because we're going to mount our staghorn fern. So I have to figure out how to do that. But yeah, the, the guy there was really nice and suggested other plant stores for us to check out. So yeah, good experience there overall. Okay, so the next plant shop that we went to was called Cultivate Propagate. I believe Cultivate Propagate, yeah. Um, and it was such a cool store, holy crap. It was just like so aesthetic, um, tons of cool plants. So yeah, it was great, I loved it. Um, so we picked up four from there and the first one was another one that Shane picked and it is a Ficus Audrey, which we have been looking for for a while, but we could only find like the really big ones. So this is just like a little cute one and we found it for $28.99. Okay, next we got a Diefenbachia, and I actually have not seen this variety around home, so that's really cool. It is a Diefenbachia Tiki, and we got it for $12.99. It just has such beautiful patterns on the leaves. Diefenbachias are actually so cool. There's so many different varieties. This is the third one I have now, so yeah, love that guy. And then next is one of my favorite finds. So this is a philodendron silver stripe. So first of all, I love trailing plants. I love philodendrons. And one of my favorite plants is my philodendron Brazil. So this is super similar to that, except it has more of a cream kind of stripe down the middle rather than just like the lime green variegation. Um, 
So yeah, I'm really excited about this guy. These plants are so easy. I don't know if it's just me or if the leaves look like longer, like more elongated on this one. It might be the same as my Brazil. They do look longer. I don't know if it's just my plant or not. So I'm thrilled to have this guy and this one was $35. I debated for a while picking it up, but I decided that I really want it and I never see these around here at all. So yeah, good find. And then the last thing that we picked up from Cultivate Propagate is this beautiful Hoya macrophylla. It only has two leaves, but they're huge and I love it so much. I have never seen one of these around here before. This guy went for $13.99. So I'm really excited to see this one grow. Add him to my Hoya collection, really beautiful. I love like the thick waxy leaves. Oh my gosh, so satisfying. So that was everything that we got from Cultivate Propagate. Super cool store, 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, so the last plant store that we went to in Seattle is called Peace, Love and Happiness Club. And I had randomly came across this store on YouTube before we left on our trip, which I kind of wish I hadn't, but also I'm really glad I did. Um, so they're basically known for having more like rare collector plants, which are obviously very expensive. And I dropped a pretty penny in there on two, only two plants. <laughs> So, um, the, I really justified picking these two up because they're something that I will never see where I live and I can order them online, but it's winter right now. So if, yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, try to justify things. But anyways, um, the first one that I picked up from there is this Raphidophora tetrasperma. And I think this was actually reasonably priced. It was $68 and it's huge. And it has tons of new growth coming in. Um, yeah, it looks really healthy. I'm super happy about this plant. And I know that these grow so fast, so I'm gonna be able to propagate it and share cuttings and whatnot. So yeah, I'm really excited about this guy. So the last plant that I got is my new baby. Oh my gosh, this is definitely my first plant um, that I've gotten that I feel like is really like a rare coveted plant. I mean, I guess I do have my Thai constellation, but she's so small and a baby and this guy is just like beautiful already. So, oh my goodness, this is a Anthurium. Oh my God, what is it called again? Clarinervium. Wow, I totally had like a blank. This is my Anthurium Clarinervium. Look at the leaves. Oh my gosh, she looks so majestic and she's actually flowering right now. How cool. Um, so yeah, she has quite a few well-developed leaves and she just looks so beautiful and healthy. And I have been wanting one of these plants for quite a while and I just haven't wanted to like order one and ship one and you know, it's just, so much easier to go and pick one out online however this was a very expensive plant this plant was 148 dollars us so that is you know close to 200 around 200 dollars canadian probably so yeah this is definitely a splurge i do not make these type of plant purchases very frequently um at all so yeah i think the best way as a plant collector to get more rare plants is to share cuttings and whatnot so I'm really hoping in the future to, you know, meet people that I can share cuttings with and, you know, kind of expand our collections that way. I also don't have any Ethereum, so if anyone has any tips for me down below, I would really, really appreciate them. But yeah, that is all of the plants that I got when I was in Seattle. I'm so thankful that we have all made it back home safely and I really hope that they all thrive in my care. If you like this video and want more planty content, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to make more plant related videos. Um, subscribe to my channel if you are not. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are doing great and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.